It is the fourth model of the Neon Genesis Evangelion collab of 2023. It is EVM03 Unit 5, with the kit of Micro Shock, Pile, Charge Drain, Wheeled Legs, and the leg ability of Auto Charge, which passively fills Metaphor's Gauge every turn for every action completed. Now, in comparison to Units 01 and 02, which are packing at least one brand new skill each, thankfully Unit 5 isn't packing anything new or overly game-breaking that we don't already know. But, in particular, the design that Unit 5 is packing is a brand new design that makes it the first ever Suicide Fighter that is not a meta change type model. Micro Shock is a very, very powerful melee type skill that basically is the melee form of Microwave, which means it has a damage bonus relative to the user's charge gauge, it has passive defense ignore, but of course, at the cost, it self-destructs upon use. Now for Unit 5, that means it is truly suicide and death going down, because that means upon using Micro Shock, Unit 5 will self-destruct and render itself unable to fight for the remainder of the battle. Of course, that mean that can of course that can of course be ignored if you have someone on the field that uses revive to bring him back. Right arm of pile is a conventional and more balanced melee skill with passive defense ignore that you really can't ever go wrong with using for its very well balanced and well rounded stats and the passive defense ignore and pierce damage on top of that make it a very widely sought after skill that anyone can use anywhere. Charge straight and the more unique and kind of tied in for synergy effect of the of the kit thus far is another conventional melee skill that upon attacking the opponent will steal a certain amount of their charge gauge and fill his own with it which ties back into his use of micro shock and his leg ability of auto charge which means looking at unit 5 from the out from the on the outside looking in he is designed to be a one man metaphors battery and nuker but of course, with that nuker, he is a one he is a one trick pony, meaning once he goes down, he is down for the count unless you have someone to bring him back. Wheeled legs means that unit five will have very solid cover will have arguably one of the highest base mobilities in the game at the cost of being the pickiest with terrain. So that so that even though the stats for that are very nice at 916 base mobility. Uh, 1120 for evade, 1439 for the melee resist, and 1407 for the shoot resist. The stats are absolutely nice for sure, and on the right terrain, such as cyber, they are going to be an absolute menace. But everywhere else in the game, this includes field, uh, aquatic, desert, wasteland, and so on, Unit 5 is going to be in particular struggling to keep up, which will be its biggest downfall if you choose to use him as a pure set. In comparison to other wield legs, such as, say, um, Makaizo thing from the from the season two of the Ghost in the Shell collab, which had Explorer to kind of to kind of balance that out, but of course with lower stats. Stats across the board too. Unit five is packing a lot, and I mean a lot of armor. In this case, with the head packing about forty five fifty for the head, forty one forty about forty one fifty for the right arm, about thirty nine hundred for the left, and legs at about 4100 means that it's going to be packing a pretty healthy HP pool and with res and with and with resist stats in the 1400s akin to tank legs in this point this does mean it's going to be particularly difficult to to take this particular unit down with any kind of uh, with any kind of urgency or speed that being said as a pure set score i do honestly have to rate unit 05 a very solid 8 out of 10 and some arguments could even be made for an 8.5 now, there's a reason in particular I'm not going to rate him any higher than that, in that even though his kit has very, very good synergy with itself between Micro Shock, Seat Charge Drain, and Auto Charge, like I mentioned, he is a one-man walking Metaphor's battery, so he has no reason to have any further need for, um, for Metaphor's reliancy or support because he already has it built in. His biggest weakness in this in particular is the fact that he is wheel-legged, which means even though he will have the speed, he does not have the coverage, which will really severely hurt anyone that tries to use him as a pure set when, when it comes to making use of him. In addition to this, Micro Shock, even as powerful as it is, is also a very risky skill to use. Normally with someone say like Maquette or even with Death Glare who was the first introduction of Micro Shock, I'd say you could use it more reliably, but given that Unit 5 has it as a head part, this makes Unit 5 a true suicide type unit, which means you want to be very careful when using the skill and guarantee that if you are going to go down, 
you're going to take the opponent with you when doing so. As mixed parts, I do have to rate him just a little bit higher at an 8.5 out of 10. Given that in this case, you will be potentially removing the, the flaw of wheeled legs, even at the cost of losing a little bit of his metaphor sustain doing so, it does give him a little bit more of a rounded out viability. Or if you decide not to use him as, as a main set, Microshock, Pile, and Charge Train are all very powerful skills to make use of. Pile is probably going to be the most balanced and conventional of them all, while Charge Train is going to be very good for your metaphor sustain for anyone that may perhaps need it. Now, as mentioned with Microshock, even though it is a very powerful skill, utmost caution and care is encouraged if you are going to use this part, especially because it is a suicide type move as a head part. It is going to be heavily encouraged that if you're going to use it, make sure you pack it on with someone who can fill in some metaphor sustain so that if you are going to go down, you are going to take the opponent with you.